I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. A big picks up to UTEP's College of Engineering, which now graduates more women engineers with a PhD than any other engineering school in the nation, according to the American Society for Engineering Education. The nonprofit organization released its Engineering by the Numbers report this week. The report details which universities are tops for engineering degrees at all levels. On the UTEP research front, Dr. Craig Field has been awarded $1.9 million to evaluate the potential benefits of a culturally adapted motivational intervention to reduce heavy drinking among Latinos. The study will look at how to reduce alcohol problems and increase help seeking and treatment in an underserved population. Dr. Field proposes that if a patient intervention is modified so it integrates cultural values and addresses the stress of balancing two cultures, then the intervention might be more effective. The grant was awarded by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute. It's that time of year when the minor nation comes together to celebrate the university, share old memories, and create new ones. The third annual alumni picnic will take place in more than 20 locations around the world, including LA, New York, Mexico, and the Kingdom of Bhutan. In El Paso, more than 40,000 alumni have been invited to participate at Memorial Park from 6 to 9 p.m. Saturday, July 12th. UTEP.edu slash alumni has more information about how to attend or host an alumni picnic. The 2014 FIFA World Cup fever is in the air, making it the perfect time to bring world-class soccer to the Paso del Norte region. UTEP Sun Bowl Stadium will be filled with boisterous soccer fans Sunday, July 9th for the Chivas Guadalajara 2014 U.S. Summer Tour. Chivas will face off against Brazil's Cruzeiro Esporte Club. Key to the event is the installation of a new grass field at Sun Bowl Stadium. Natural grass will arrive Wednesday, July 2nd and be installed overnight. Make sure to get your tickets to the match at Ticketmaster.com and support professional soccer for the borderland. We'll leave you with a little more soccer action this time from Minor Village, where this week watch parties were held for the U.S., Mexico, and Brazil games. UTEP is currently home to a delegation of students from Brazil who are participating in the university's English Language Institute. They took a little break from their studies to enjoy the match. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!